because we had a man who told us that uh, after he got married, he and his wife were trying to conceive. They couldn't because his wife was ovulating during her period. They found out only much later. And then that's how they have been conceiving all the children that they've had in that marriage. We also have somebody else on WhatsApp who's asking us, wow, how is it? that um, you can get uh, uh, ovulation during your period. So, Dr. Wakama, that's the part of the conversation that we're coming to now because, you know, you just spent the time telling us that um, our body spends all this time getting ready for us to um, have a baby and then we don't have a baby and then she, like, packs her property and goes and, you know, comes out as periods. But now you have, for some women, um, the preparation for the baby and the pack and go when baby doesn't come happening at the same exact time what's happening there doc okay um thank you very much for that question i think we started a bit of it last week yeah so i'll just give a a, a kind of intro yeah then delve into it. yeah so it's not for for some women like like i said last week for women who experience this who can get pregnant from period sex so i would rather i would rather take it from this particular angle not just saying ovulate during the periods and i'll explain why so period sex can get some women pregnant and i said last week that it's common in women who have shorter menstrual cycle lengths say from 21 so if a woman has a cycle length of 21 22 just the shorter part of it Right. They are more likely to ovulate earlier right. during their cycle. So um, the concept of periods, I'll try my best to just make it, you know, understandable. So the period cycle, the menstrual cycle starts from day one of, of the woman's period. So the first day she sees her period, that's day one. A new cycle has begun. So even though she's still seeing her periods, like um, the, the flow is still there, mm -hmm. another cycle has already started. Okay. So for let's use a woman whose cycle length is, say, 22. Right. Now, the ovulation period for is calculated by, of course, dividing it by two. And that's, we have 11, right? Right. So we say plus or minus, plus or minus two on both sides. Right. Some, some, um, some studies will say plus or minus three or four, two to four on both sides, depending, okay. but averagely two on both sides, okay. right? Okay. So let's say a woman who has um, a cycle length of 22 to get her ovulation period, because mm. it's also a range. Right. We don't know exactly when it's a range. Right. So splitting it two is 11, right? Okay. So plus... Oh, well, that's a lot of math you're two. doing there. <laughs> math, yes. That, that's what I'm saying, that it's a whole about try. Yeah. But then adding two or minus two, you just have an average of um, saying her period is within 9 to 13 days. Okay. Um, day, Sorry, day 9 or day 13 to mm. day 13. It okay. can be any of these days. Okay. Right? Okay. Remember, day one is the first day she sees her period. Just try and follow me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay so, for, so hold on let, 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 she... let's go through it again let's go through it again the first day she sees her period is day okay. one okay. right exactly yes uh -huh. day and, one and then uh for women who ovulate while they're having their period what's happening there so what is happening there is her ovulation mm is coming early not like early it's just earlier than those who have a later or a longer cycle length right. that's why i said it's common in women who have short cycle lengths that's the catch right so we picked a woman say a woman who has a 22 day cycle length uh -huh. now we're trying to show you how she can get pregnant uh -huh. that's what i'm trying to drive uh -huh. now okay. for a woman who has that her ovulation will fall say within day nine to day 13 it can be day 9 10 11 12 or 13 that's what i mean mm. so let's use day 9 let's say she starts ovulating on day 9 mm -hmm. now remember her period started day 1 mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now her period started day 1 let's mm -hmm. say she has her flow she has a 7 day flow because you can have a 2 to 7 day flow mm -hmm. some people their period comes 2 days it has finished 3 days mm -hmm. 4 5 to 7 so mm -hmm. let's say she has maybe even a 6 day or a 5 day flow mm -hmm. Now, one thing people need to understand is that when um, sex occurs, 
the sperm cell can live in the woman up to three to five days. Right. That's what people forget. Right. Many people don't do that. Right. It can, it's not just for it happens. Right. It can live up, up to three to five days in a woman. Right. So if she has period sex, mm -hmm. maybe on day five, mm -hmm. remember how ovulation is meant to happen, uh, start, let's say day nine, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now going by this mathematics, you see how it happens. The sperm uh... cell just waits. On the just they wait and will catch out, no worry. <laughs> yes, so once the egg comes out, bam. Uh. So imagine if she, um, that occurs maybe on day seven of her period. If she's someone who sees her period um, up to day seven, right. it's even shorter, it's even easier. So within three days, the sperm cell is just there waiting for a, a willing a egg to come out. Right. You know, things occur. So women need to understand that it's not is not a safe period. Many people feel like the period, um, the menstruation, uh, menstrual um, period mm -hmm. is safe. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's oh. not. In fact, it's one of the, we can go, that's one of the most unsafe periods. Are you serious? So, yes. Oh so, my gosh. <laughs> people need to understand that. If there's nothing you can with today, you can understand how that can occur. So if you've been one of those people, that's why education is important. So mm -hmm. if you've been one of the women or even the men mm. who encourage, oh, you're on your period now, ah, we are safe. Mm. <laughs> you're not safe, oh. I don't know. Go and price baby. Go and price very like one day. <laughs> you know, anything can occur. Oh my so, God. So um, that's most like, so it's not ex essentially that she's ovulating hand in hand with the period. I you see, know. I see. Yeah, so th I, that's why I wanted to explain this. Mm -hmm. So it can actually happen for some women that the ovulation starts while they are flu. I wouldn't really call it the period, why the flow is there. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, the, the, the number of days um, that the woman sees her, her period depends on the amount of whatever needs to be cleared out. Mm -hmm. So that's the flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so oh. Oh. a new cycle has started. So oh. We just need to know that. So that's how, for the person asking, mm -hmm. this is how it can occur. Okay. Yeah, and, and you can know if a woman, um, if that can happen, if she ovulates during that period mm -hmm. or early, there's mm -hmm. something we call follicular tracking. Mm -hmm. It's like an ultrasound guided tracking. So mm -hmm. for persons who might be experiencing infertility issues, um, yeah, fertility issues, mm -hmm. um, their fertility physician is one of the things they recommend they during the for. process of treatment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So follicular tracking, mm -hmm. you can be able to know, okay, this is when she's going to ovulate or you have started ovulating, mm -hmm. you know, so that way you plan intercourse and yeah.